Hello everyone, good morning. Uh, this is uh, Dr. Thamer Bakamis. I'm the head of training in Public Health Academy. Uh, with me, my colleague, Mr. Abdullah Al-Maziad, he is the head of uh, e-learning units in the academy. Uh, we are happy to be with you here today. We would like to share our uh, success story in training using Moodle elements. We came from Saudi Arabia and our background is public health. We'll give a brief introduction. Then we will t uh, give some information about the Public Health Academy. And we'll give some statistics for our platform and some of our lessons learned from our uh, humble experience. I believe that uh, many of you heard about the uh, Saudi Vision 2030, which is led by His Royal Highness, uh, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, which includes several key initiatives related to public health, including healthcare quality and efficiency, preventive care, privatization, digital health, and health education. The Public Health Authority in Saudi Arabia is responsible for promoting and protecting public health in the kingdom. Its main function include improving health and protecting public health, public health intelligence, public health laboratories, and public health workforce. The Public Health Academy we have our physical location in Riyadh. It has uh, a capacity of uh, 350 trainees at the same time. We have a virtual reality lab. And also we have our LMS. The Public Health Academy is one of the Public Health Authority's pioneering initiatives that aims to provide a well-defined, structured, competency-based, and sustainable professional development programs in public health for all staff with health and well-being responsibilities. Our strategic goal is to enhance public health workforce competencies. My colleague Abdullah, he will continue the presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Samar. Hello, everyone. Uh, our platform uh, have um, over 42,000 users. Uh, increase rate is 18% uh, percent every uh, quarter. And you can see here in the chart the increase. And uh, the green uh, line is the last uh, quarter. Second, we have the enrolled. The enrolled is the number of uh, user uh, who may take more than uh, one course. So far, we have over 54,000 uh, and 26 uh, percent the increase rate uh, each quarter. Up to date, we have over 42 uh, courses uploaded to the platform and uh, over 5 uh, million minutes, uh, the training minutes and satisfaction rate is 94 uh, percent. And the completion rate is 54 uh, percent, and we have issued over than 30,000 uh, certificates. And the average improvement of pre and post test mm -hmm. is uh, 25 uh, percent. Um, model uh, platform help us in uh, many ways. Uh, uh, for example, in the content variety. Uh, it's to provide video, video and uh, graphics, also uh, SCORM, uh, SCORM file friendly. Uh, sometimes we design our courses using uh, other uh, tools uh, like Articulate, then uh, export it SCORM file to the, uh, our uh, MLS. Uh, second, robust assessment. We have pre and post uh, tests, which is uh, very important uh, important. Uh, indicator to measure the improvement of learner and uh, the model provide uh, 
different ways of the assessment. The third one is tracking and reporting. Here we uh, can um, uh, see our uh, improvements and get numbers about learner and courses. That will help us to uh, improve uh, our courses. Uh, next, the uh, automated uh, notification. This one is uh, really good. At the beginning of the, this year, uh, we were um, thinking about the way to uh, encourage learners to uh, complete their courses because we have noticed a number of uh, users who register in the course and they leave it, they don't complete it. So we embedded a course reminder uh, so they can get remind after two or three weeks to come back to the course and complete it. Um, what we found out is a huge increase in the completion rate. And this is the good thing. The last one is multi-language. In Saudi Arabia, the main language is Arabic and we provide courses in English and Arabic language. Listen, learn, uh, first uh, thing, uh, collect data as much as possible. You may not need it now, but it will be very helpful in the future if you have a new plan and if you want to target a new uh, uh, users, you know where they are and who, what is their measure. So it's going to be easy to target them. Uh, second thing, we uh, have a technical partner. This is very important to speed up the process and solve any technical issues that may arise uh, while uh, learner take any course. Uh, for us, we have uh, a technical partner called uh, Umena, and it is very uh, helpful, and we would like to thank them for uh, effortless uh, support. Uh, next, uh, invest in, uh, in a training. A team must be trained uh, to be familiar with the platform and to solve any minor issues that may raise. Uh, next, have a dashboard for monitoring. Dashboard is very helpful to get numbers and the status, statics about the uh, platform and uh, the performance. Uh, finally, regularly update the content. It is very important uh, to uh, up-to-date uh, the content so it can be useful for a user. For us, we have evaluation form that user completed at the end of each course. And most of the time we find very valuable uh, feedback and that help us to improve uh, you know, the, uh, the content itself or the platform. Uh, thank you. All right, thanks for the presentation. Is there any question? Yeah. Hi, for this solution, do you use a normal Moodle or Workplace? Can you repeat that, please? For the, your LMS, you use the normal model, the open source model, yes. or the workplace? Uh, no, we use the basic one, developed okay. by our uh, technical partner. And the and the hosting is uh, inside, from the government? Inside. Uh, inside hosting? Yeah, in-house. Okay, thanks. Have uh, you found the Arabic language pack to be adequate? Have you made changes? Have you customized the, the language pack for the Moodle to meet specific Saudi needs? Uh, basically, um, Arabic language is supported, but sometimes we have uh, a minor issue like formatting from right to left because Arabic language uh, right to left. So. Uh, we find a different solution like using other, other third-party uh, tools in Articulate to justify the Arabic content and upload it as a SCORM file in the platform. Any other question? No? Okay, so thank you. Thank you, everyone. Oh, okay. uh, I think there's one here, yeah. Maybe I extend a bit uh, on the Arabic language. We are uh, Amjad Najjar uh, from Yumina, the partner working uh, with PHA. So actually for Arabic, uh, 
we are responsible uh, of this so f globally not for the partner so we always make sure whenever we found you know uh, new words added because of the upgrades we take care of it and we work very closely with the uh, uh, language team of uh, of Moodle so that's uh, our uh, good part our responsibility and it, it's very, it's almost 100% to give you the good news <laughs>